Hello, welcome back, Regal Smith here. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to use a blend from doTERRA called Shinrin Yoku. And Shinrin Yoku is a new blend from doTERRA and it stands for the Japanese term forest bathing. Now forest bathing is basically when you connect with nature, you disconnect from technology and you become present with oneself to help restore the body. And this blend has done the best job that it could to bring the outdoors in. It smells woodsy, crisp, fresh, a little bit floral, a hint of citrus, and there isn't one dominant essential oil I can pick out. It's really well balanced in my opinion. It smells lovely. It's very relaxing to me. It almost smells like being outside after the rain, a little bit of damp moisture in the air, not musty, just like woodsy, but that crisp, clean, watery smell. Um, it's something that I would use to diffuse to relax myself at, at bedtime or in the evening. This would be great diffused in a yoga studio. You could make it into a sugar scrub, a body scrub, a beard oil. I think it smells a little bit masculine. That sounds really lovely. And inside this oil, we have oils that the scientists found in nature that produce that effect on the body when you're out in nature are high in limonene alpha pinene and beta pinene. And if you know anything about essential oil chemistry, those should sound familiar. Those are a lot of the constituents that we find in naturally occurring essential oils that aren't synthetically made, like doTERRA's. They are all naturally made without synthetics. So the blend in here has lemon, patchouli, magnolia, Siberian fir, cardamom, cypress, hinoki wood oil, lavender, grapefruit, cypress, geranium, and lemon pedigreen. It's hard to imagine what it smells like just from that list. It does not smell like any single one of those oils to me. Like I mentioned, it smells a little bit woodsy, fresh, crisp, a little bit masculine, not too earthy. And um, if we break down what are in the essential oils, we think about lemon and the grapefruit in there. They're both citrus oils. They're purifying and cleansing to the environment. We have patchouli, which is earthy and grounding, also supports the brain health. It can help oxygenate the brain. It crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's one of the few essential oils that can do that. And it is one that is great if you know anyone who has had a brain injury or needs brain support, patchouli. Magnolia and geranium, those are both floral oils. They're great for hormones and supporting moods. We have Siberian fir and hinoki wood, which are both grounding. Hinoki wood in particular is a very sensitive tree that grows in Japan and it will not grow if there are too many impurities around it. So it only grows in the purest areas. Cypress is a tree oil that is the oil of motion and flow. I kind of think of that oil like a water element. So it's kind of fun that it's in this blend. We have that lavender and um, lemon pedigreen, which are similar properties to lavender. So calming, but not with that same aroma as lavender. So that being said, I have been diffusing this like crazy since I've been home from convention. I love it. And it's interesting because I personally do not like patchouli and it's the second ingredient in here and it feels such a balanced blend. But that being said, my husband walked in the first day I was diffusing it First time in over a decade he's ever turned off the diffuser. He said, what is that? There's something in it that my body does not like. My brain is telling me that that does not smell good to me and it smells gross. That was his description. And he turned off my diffuser. And he's somebody who uses oils. He uses his balance oil every day. He puts them on and he's never commented about an oil that had to be turned off in the diffuser. So that being said, our body chemistry is all different. I can tell you that rose is the best smelling oil. It's my favorite oil, it truly is. But you may not like rose. You may not like peppermint or lavender or lemon or shinrin yoku, and that's okay. Our body chemistry is all different. Our preferences are different. And something unique about body chemistry with the oils is sometimes you'll smell something and you're not interested in it at that time or it may not even smell good to you. But a different season in your life, your body chemistry shifts. And at another time, it might smell really good to you. It's kind of interesting. So don't, don't off or write off these oils right away if they aren't your favorite when you first smell them. So put it in your oil box, revisit it in a few months and, and see if it has changed. Another thing that I'm gonna do to diffuse at home is I'm going to mix it up for my husband. He loves peppermint. I think this oil would go great with peppermint. The peppermint would really make it crisp and really fresh and bright. 
I might even mix it up with citrus oil. So just maybe one drop of this and then a few drops of the citrus oils to, to really um, kind of give it that more citrusy, brighter smell that I know he does like. So you can mix up. I'll have diffuser blends on my blog written up below, some different blends you can try. I'll also have a free Shinrin Yoku ebook about how to use this. And then I'll also have some DIY recipes, DIY recipes that I think would be fun to try. And I was so excited to make my husband a beard oil, but not gonna work for him, but I think it would be great for somebody else. So I would love to hear in the comments, have you tried it? What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you not? What's it smell like to you? And if you're interested in trying it and you don't have it yet, you can get this starting October 1st. So brand new oil comes out October 1st of 2023 of this year. And you can get it either individually in this 15 milliliter, which you can diffuse. You can get it in the roll on touch, which has fractionated coconut oil and you can wear it like a perfume or a cologne, breathe it in anytime you want to relax, bring the outdoors in and just feel that restoration from nature uh, or you can get it in the post convention tour kit which will be announced october 1st that will have all the new products from convention so be sure to check out that blog link below let me know if you have any questions and of course if you need doTERRA wholesale pricing you can also find that on my website at blissmama.com and get free wholesale pricing on your doTERRA purchases thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye